Hello everyone and welcome to KBAX Gaming. Today we are going to do a random game day video. So this means that I am going to be going to an online spinner, it's like a random choice picker, and I'm going to input five different games that I currently have that are not part of my game series. And we are going to see what the fates decide for us. So with that, let's go ahead and go over to the choice picker. Okay, and I have it up. So I'm going to go ahead and input five different games that I have. So I have House Flipper. I have Story of Seasons, Friends of Mineral Town. And then I have Raft. And I have them all kind of written down next to me so then I can quickly just look and type. <laughs> Stardew Valley. And then I have Lego the Hobbit. Okay. Let me make sure. Yeah, I've got Lego the Hobbit. Okay. <laughs> All right. So these are just five different games that I currently own. I do own more games, but these are ones that are currently downloaded on my computer and I can just quickly pull up and get started. So with that, let's uh, minimize this screen over here, and I'm gonna spin and see what we get. Ah. All right, so here's how this is gonna go. I'm gonna play this game for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then we are going to stop the game briefly, come back to the spinner and see if we continue playing Raft or if we play another game for about 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, so, all right, let's go to Raft. Okay, and this is Raft. So this is an open world, building survival game. So this is kind of like within my genre of building and with kind of adventure. And so I'm really excited to share this game with all of you because it's really fun. And you can also play this with other people too. It's a multiplayer game. Uh, so that makes it even better. And um, who knows, maybe at some point I will be playing this with friends and family uh, down the road as well. So let's start a new game. Let me go ahead and set a timer too to make sure that we're not going over our time for playing this. Okay, cool. All right, I'm gonna start gathering some resources here. You start out the game with um, this like little hook thing and you just gather some different resources. Probably could have just let that float to me, but oh well. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna collect that. So I collected some wood. And as you can see, we're just on this little tiny raft out in the middle of the ocean. Let's see. Just gathering different resources. We have plastic, we have a potato so far, so we have some food. We have a beet. Okay, and we're gonna use all these different things to craft some items here soon. I'm just going to pick this up. Okay. Let's 
Okay, I'm gonna see what I can go ahead and cut so far. Let's see. Okay, we are gonna need some rope soon. There's some rope. Okay, we're gonna need We're gonna need a cup and we're gonna need to build on our raft pretty soon so we can make room for some other stuff. So I'm gonna continue gathering some resources. Oh, we're going towards an island right now and I may or may not float directly to it. We'll see. I really want that barrel. I'm gonna try to get it. And I can get it. Oh, let's see if I can get the plank too. Okay. Hopefully we don't run into that island. Um, I don't know that we're ready to go to the island yet, but... Okay, looks like this barrel is going to come right to us, which is awesome. Okay, let's see if I can build or craft another rope. Okay, and we already have a plastic cup, which is nice. And we're gonna need a water purifier pretty soon so we can start getting some water going here. This is a game I've played a few times with different friends and family, so I do know this game very well. Um, Although they've had a lot of new updates that I'm really excited to see. Because the game has still been in development, I believe, for a while. Here! Oh no! <laughs> I forgot about that. Okay. My bad, but I need more palm leaves, so I couldn't anyway. Okay, that makes me feel a little better that I did not um, just forget I didn't have the resources either. Okay. I'm thinking we may, yeah. Okay, we're not going to run into the island, which is nice. So I'm not going to be totally beached here and stuck. <laughs> when I don't have the resources to go there yet. Okay. You know what? These things are just going to kind of float to me, so I'm just going to... Oh man, I missed it. Okay. Okay, let's get that spear built because I really don't want to deal with the that shark um, much more. And I am going to need a new hook pretty soon. Let's see. I'm going to build a hammer and get another plank up here again. And I'm actually going to go into my inventory and make sure that my... Did I build a spear? I thought I did. Am I blind? Am I not seeing it? Uh-oh. Okay, well, all right, we got to focus on that. Um... I thought I built one, but maybe I built... Oh, I built a purifier on accident. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Well. Definitely going to need more of these then. All right. At least we have a water purifier now, so when we run out of water, we'll be okay. So let's see. I need three rope for a wooden spear. Um... I think it's under this one. Yay! Okay, so let's build that spear. 
Okay, now we are able to protect ourselves. Right? Didn't I just build a spear, guys? I am so confused. What happened to my spear? Okay, that's the second time, right? I'm not just being crazy. I'm... Okay, there we go. <laughs> now it showed up. I don't know what happened there, but anyway. I figured it out anyway, so that's good. Now I'm going to need more of those um, palm leaves again because I need to build uh, a new hook pretty soon here. Okay, cool. That barrel gave me a bunch. Nice. Okay, what do I need for a new hook? Let's see. Keep doing that. Where am I going? Um, tools. Plastic hook. Oh, I already have it. Okay, cool. So when this goes out, I can... I can build... Oh, I already have another one. Okay. Bending our raft. Go away. We don't want to die. <laughs> no thank you. Okay. Now I'm going to focus on expanding my raft a little bit so then I can get a, a water purifier built. Okay. Let's see. Which means we need more planks, and I think that is one. It could be... Okay. So for those of you who have never played, it's just the left mouse button that you're pressing to throw the... Um, to throw the hook out there, and then you're just holding it down to bring it back, to bring this stuff in. And then it is E for when things are close enough to the raft that you can grab it. Um, but when it's far, you need, um, you need the hook. And then you just go into your inventory to craft different items. And that's just the letter I on your keyboard. So it's really easy and simple to grab items. And right now it's getting dark, so it's going to be a lot harder to see everything. I personally like when things are so close to the raft that you can just kind of grab it. And you don't have to use much of your resources. Okay, so we're going to need to build on the raft now. So then... I can build an air purifier or a water purifier and I already crafted a cup so I can start doing that and I think that's all oh wait and I'm gonna need some planks for fire so I can purify my water okay now we're gonna gather more resources while we're waiting for that Oh, too far away. All right. Uh, let's see. I can grab this. Um, probably right when we get some water, I will um, stop the game where we are because that is already the end of our 15 minutes almost. So we won't have much time for much else. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick peek of some of these other games. Okay, and I'm going to grab, and I'm going to drink some water and fill it back up. You know what, maybe we'll keep playing until, um, until I get um, something for food as well. Because I think we still have a little bit of time left. Let's see, can I craft that now? Ah, uh, food. Simple grill. Okay, we're gonna need some more rope and we actually do have enough 
fronds to make more rope. So let's do that real quick. Remember how much we needed. Okay, we do have enough to make some food, uh, something for food. Okay, very cool. So now I'm gonna cook up this beet here and place some planks down so we can cook some food. So uh, maybe the next time we play, I will have more resources. I try to get that barrel while I'm waiting. Oh man, it was too far out. Okay. Bummer. Just have to get some planks instead. Okay. That should be done shortly. Oh. Another frond there before we lose out on it. Oh no, the plant Oh wait. Start. Okay. Now I'm gonna um, repair this if I can. I don't know if I can repair this, can I? Hang on. Um, does it take something else to repair it? I can't remember. Hmm. I don't remember. Let's see. Maybe it was... Oh, I need some nails. That's what I need. Okay, let's see. Is that enough nails? Uh, let's see. Repair. Okay, I need more... What do I need more of? I don't know. That's so weird that it's... Oh, maybe I'm done. Okay, I got it. Cool. Cool, cool. All right, now we need more food. So let's go ahead and eat this. Cool. And we will cook up some of that. And see, let's drink this water now and fill it up. Okay, you guys, that is the end of Raft for today. I'm going to save the world and we shall see if um, I'm going to go back to the choice spinner as well. For now, I'm just going to exit to main menu. Um, and I'm going to go back to the choice spinner because this is how this works, okay, guys? If I happen to spin the spinner and we happen to get Raft two more times on the spinner, then I will continue playing Raft for the next 15 minutes. However, if I spin and we happen to have a new game, then I will play a new game for 15 minutes. So let's spin and see what we get. All right, we got House Flipper, you guys. So I am going to go ahead and hop on over to House Flipper now. All right, everyone, here we are with House Flipper. I'm really excited to share this game with you because I really enjoy this game. It is a building game and there's really no like story or adventure with it. I mean, I guess there is kind of an adventure, but it's really creative and wonderful. And as you can see in the upper right, House Flipper 2 is coming out pretty soon. And I'm really excited because House Flipper 1 is kind of limited on certain things. And House Flipper 2, it looks like they are hearing their audience and they are bringing the things that we've been asking. And um, I'm excited about that. So anyway, let's get started. And I'm also going to set a timer for this game as well for about 10 to 15 minutes. So then we don't go over the time that's expected for this game. Um, so yeah, let's get started with a new game. And I'm going to call it K-Bax. Or yeah, K-Bax, that's fine. 
I'm not going to be super creative with names just yet, but if you guys would like me to be more creative than using my channel name, then uh, let me know. So here's the first tutorial. It says, welcome to House Flipper. This game will allow you to buy, renovate, decorate, and sell houses. For now, however, you need to be content with this shack that you can call your office. Okay, so yeah, let's get started. And then of course I purchased the add-on. It's called House Flipper Garden. It allows you to kind of do more landscaping, which is cool. I might purchase more of their add-ons too. They have, uh, they came out with a pet DLC, which is really cool. Um, and uh, which I really appreciate. So see how I'm doing all these weeds? You would not be able to do any of this if you didn't have the garden uh, add-on, which is really, which I really appreciate having. Um, all right, let's go inside. And it gives you some pretty clear prompts, like pressing E to open certain things. And, um, and I'm just going to spend some time, you know, cleaning up the apartment. As you can see, you start off very, like, grungy and dirty and just, you know, kind of gross, you know, so... You know, it's kind of where it starts you. And then, of course, you know, you have that prompt there that tells you to left mouse click to dispose of the trash and some things. So I'm going to do that real quick before we go to our laptop and find our next job. Or our first job, actually. And here's a little tutorial about how to use your laptop and whatnot, you know. But since I've played this, I, I already know. Okay, let's check our mail. And our first job is going to be from Sarah Lewis and it says hello I'd like to hire your company to put my house in order I know from photos posted on face spam that my ex-boyfriend broke into my house made a huge mess and stole the radiator it is possible that some other things are missing too please clean up the house and replace the missing appliances I would ask you not to inform the police about the whole matter. I will settle it myself with my ex-boyfriend after returning from a business trip. Regards, Sarah Lewis. So we're going to accept it because we need to earn some money so then we can fix up our own house. You know what I mean? So let's do this. Okay, and we currently now have a mop and we can start cleaning some stuff. And we just right mouse click to select the mop for whenever we need it. And even though I don't have to, I like to, you know, at least get rid of some of the weeds that are in front of people's houses, you know. Okay, let's go in. And of course, in the upper right, you can see, and on the right side over here, you can kind of see that there's some prompts for some different objectives that we have. So I'm just going to start cleaning up the house a little bit. And, you know, it is disgusting, right? You know, this man really did a number on this lady's house, and it's kind of gross. And here we go. And I'm just going to fix the table a little bit. You know, because she can worry about kind of where things were before, you know, before he got here. But I feel like I should at least pick things up a little bit, you know, just to be nice. Uh, from now on, you have a tablet at your disposal. Press the tab to use or hide it. It allows you to buy things. It'll be handy for this task. Okay, good to know. So um, I'm going to clean up first and then replace things. I think that's good. We're just going to go around and use the mop to clean up everything. And it gives you a percentage on the right over there that shows you how far you've gotten and if you've missed anything. And it does, you do get paid more the more you do and the more you complete. So if you leave something incomplete and you finish the job beforehand, you will not get paid as much. <laughs> See, I know there was something over here somewhere. I'm trying to get the rest of that dirt wherever it is. Let's see, is it over here? Oh, found it. Okay, turn on the tablet to choose what you want to spend the new skill point on. So we're going to do that. Um, so... Oh, there we go. Perks. So I usually pick um, either good mop 
or 25% faster cleaning to start with. It is helpful to see the dirt on the mini map though. Um, so I'm gonna pick good mop though, because it makes things a lot faster and quicker for having a good mop. Okay, so now I'm gonna install the radiator in here and then I'm gonna continue cleaning the rest of the house. Okay, bye now. And assemble. And I really like how it just seems, you know, like an accurate simulator for being a house flipper. You know what I mean? It gives you somewhat of an accurate idea of how it might actually be. But of course, you're not going to come into a house and it's going to be completely trashed like this all the time, right? But really the only the only thing And see, you do have the option since you have reached a certain level of um, being done that you can finish the job right here if you get bored and you want to move on. But um, like I said, you don't get paid as much, you know, you got to complete the whole thing, right? All right, there we are. We have officially completed this job because all tasks are complete. So let's get out of here. And we got $785.39 for this first job being done. Okay. All right. Now that we have a mop, we can kind of clean up our own little place here now too. So let's do that a little bit before we get our next job. Okay. Oh, it looks like I left a, a box down there for me to clean up. And I have no idea um, if we've cleaned up everything here. But that's why it's also helpful to see um, to see the dirt on the mini map as well, because you could miss something. And especially with House Flipper 2, eventually I will be probably selling this little place, you know, and buying the next place, right? Okay, let's see what's going on in here. Holy moly. You know, when I first played this game, I walked into this bathroom and was like, this is so disgusting, you know? And I immediately wanted to just start just with my own place and not worry about other people, but, you know, but it doesn't let you do that at first. You have to complete certain things first and unlock other things and, you know. Okay, cool. Let's go to the second job here. And I think I'm just gonna throw away some more stuff here. There we go. Okay, so we can do cleaning the garbage, more radiators, or we can start doing some outdoor stuff, uh, like the garden stuff. So, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do that um, before our time is up so you guys can see a little bit of the garden expansion. Um, for this game. A bit of gravel, gravel, and a couple of bushes. I work at home in my dentist's office. I can deal with all kinds of teeth cavities, but not with the holes and weeds in my garden. Please lay some gravel on the front part of my yard to get rid of these. Also, could you plant something on there to make it look better? Kindest regards, Evelyn Hawes. Okay, planting is now available. So from now on, you are able to design a garden. Look for plants in the garden category in the shop. And then it says, I've unlocked a new tool, a garden hose, which is pretty cool by having a job that it applies to. Okay, let's see. What are our objectives here? Let's see. Okay, let's remove the weeds. Remove all these weeds. And I think, um, I'm not sure if they've unlocked it for us, but eventually we'll have a lawnmower too, eventually, or a weed eater or something. Okay, so I got all of the weeds there. Oh, I missed something here, somewhere. Let me see. Oh, there was. Okay, we got all the weeds there. 
I'm kind of speed running through this a little bit because, you know, I don't have a lot of time to show you guys yet what this is about. Hmm. Oh wait, did we get, did we level up and I didn't pay attention? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, we leveled up, gained some experience. Um, we can, uh, grass trimmer 2019 increased trimming range. We can have tall grass visible on the mini map, or we can increase planting by 80%. I'm going to increase planting by 80%, um, cause we're going to need that in just a minute. So, all right, now let's look for that last weed. Somewhere. There it is. Right? Over here. There's that last one. Gotta find it. Oh, there it is. Okay. I think we got all the weeds. I think we're good. Okay. Is there anything that needs to be... Okay. So let's spread the gravel then. We've got some gravel that we need to spread. Uh, tasks. I find it easier to do this, and I'm just going to leave the gravel as is. Colored gravel, yep. You just hold it over and you just place it down. I'm going to skip through this a little bit, just so, you know, just for the sake of time here. Okay, that's done. And this is two colored as well. So let's do two colored. And standard, smaller, smallest. I'm gonna go with smaller. And let's just go with white and tan because it'll kind of match this back here. Okay, this is where I gotta be kind of careful because it only goes up there. Okay, we got it. Now this side. Got it. Now we get to plant some shrubs. Let's see. I'm going to just go with some simple shrubs. Wait, those are not shrubs. Those are not simple. Okay. Hang on. <laughs> that was a little much. Uh, let's see. We'll do... Okay, this is way better. <laughs> this is way smaller, way better for the space, I think. I'm gonna try to place it where it's exactly across. This is the harder part of this game is because you can't really see kind of where you placed the other one. And I think this one has, yep, this is another corner from a shrub. Okay. And I think this one needs needs one too, right? Yep. I try to place it kind of in the middle, and then go back over here and place this in the middle, maybe. Okay. All right. I think. Okay. Let's kind of reposition that just a little. And this needs to. Go back a little bit. Okay, and then these are not. Oh goodness! See, this is the hard part of house looker is figuring out what the middle is. Oh goodness. Okay, not quite. Okay. 
Okay, I think I got it. Okay, that's good. And that's good. All right, let's plant it. Let's plant them. So, I'm sure you can see why I picked faster planting, um, because this process takes a long time. <laughs> so, or it can take a long time, which is why I'm fast forwarding through a lot of it. a new skill point let's see all right so regulated mowing speed grass trimmer increased tall grass visible on map i'm gonna go grass trimmer increased trimming range i think that would be really helpful for the next time i play the game so i'm gonna upgrade and there we go now i'm gonna complete the job because we're all done and here we go so uh, we got $1,682.98. So yes, I would like to complete the job. We are done. Okay, and it says we have some new stuff in our gallery that we can look at. Um, and we can like hang new posters on the walls and things like that. So that's really cool. All right, y'all. Um, I think that is the end of this episode. Uh, thank you so much for watching this. And you know what? Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see some differences with random game day videos. If you'd like me to um, maybe play one video for, or one game for the entire video instead of playing two different games for 15 minutes. Um, or if, you know, you'd like to see something else, or if you'd like to see me, you know, maybe do some series on House Flipper or Raft in the future or something like that. So anyway, with that, um, I will see you in the next episode or video. And I hope you, um, I hope you enjoy. Bye.